wonder, wonder why I do whatever I like I do What I like I do, I do I do What I like I do, I do Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel I'm sorry y'all got these nails on right now and don't know how to act They are so cute I don't know how to act, honestly. Um, these are definitely meant for this makeup look specifically. That's why I have them on. Um, you probably will not see me have these on in my next tutorial. I'm going to just keep it one. I'm going to just keep it real. I love my natural nails and I love to try and grow them as much as I can. But I put these on just to be cute and all that good stuff. Don't be no hating ass bitch. And don't be trying to check me in the comments because you a press on nail too, bitch. You a hating on press on nail. And I... Oh! And that's why niggas be trying to chip you off when they don't feel like having their own no more. And when they feel like using you again, they glue your ass right back on like you a motherfucking cheap piece of nail. And <laughs> simple as that. So don't be no hating that bit, okay? Don't be no hating that bit, period. Period! 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 Get off, get off me. Get off me. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, as y'all can see, your girl hair is laid. I just laid nails on. Like, girl, she's just looking cute today, okay? She got rings on, just looking cute, okay? But as y'all can see by the title of today's video, the girl is doing a Get Off My Ocean Waves inspired makeup look. And I know you girls are like, y'all like, what? Y'all like, what? You, you snapping again? Yes, I'm snapping again. Um... Honestly, the inspiration for this makeup look, I do not know how to pronounce her name, so I do not want to pronounce it wrong, but just this, this beautiful melanin queen makeup artist, I really hope she does a lot more makeup looks because she's actually very talented, and when I seen this, I was like, whoa, 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 because I was already inspired to do like an ocean wave inspired makeup look, so I was hashtagging it, looking at, looking around, getting inspired by others, but Get all that <laughs> when I seen her her makeup look her ocean waves inspired makeup look I gagged I, I gagged like crazy because I was like what in the world y'all see this not only does she have her beautiful natural afro puff yes natural hair um <laughs> but she um definitely killed it with the ocean wave she made this look so realistic y'all like these are literally ocean waves on her face right now and i'm just i'm shook it i'm still shook it like i'm i'm just like whoa so i'm basically going to take inspiration from that um and i'm going to try to make some realistic ocean waves i'm going to kind of mimic the same thing that she did with bringing it across the mouth um but i'm going to try to make mine's kind of like a mask and kind of add some strings, add some, you know, hooks on the side and kind of make it look like it's a mask over my face instead of just going straight across like she did. And and I'm also going to be a little extra because y'all know how I can be. And I'm actually going to be doing my eye makeup on top of doing that. Um, it's a little different from hers because as y'all can see, she just added lashes, brows, foundation, probably a little feel a little powder and just went straight in on the waves and that's no shade towards her but y'all know me i gotta stand out a little bit differently i gotta be a little extra with it and so that's what i'm gonna do and your girl's also going to try and add some waves onto the chest as well i'm a little nervous i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm a little nervous this is my first time doing this let's just hope and pray to the makeup gods that this turns out good okay um but I'm already starting off late, which is not good, but we're we going to get through it. We're going to get through it. Um, and speaking of that, I will be doing, once again, the base of the face off camera just to speed up time. I may show y'all a little bit of what I'm doing within my eye makeup because um, it's been a minute since I played around with blues, different, you know, tones of blues, different shades of blues. So I may show y'all what I do within my eye makeup and then we're just going to get straight into the waves and you know get this look accomplished hopefully before sunset y'all know that's more my accomplishment than anything <laughs> um, when it comes to these tutorials um, until daylight savings time uh, comes up within March and then that's when you know I'll be happy again <laughs> um, but before we get into this video why don't you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay subscribe to your girl's channel um, 
do not forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload videos here like this onto my channel. Do not forget to follow your girl on all of her social medias, which is her Instagram and her Twitter. You guys already know what's up with that. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Like I said, let's uh, have further ado. <laughs> let's go ahead and just get into this video. Hey you guys, so as you guys can see, your girl went ahead and did the base of the face off camera. She's currently baking within the under eyes, the nose, and around the mouth. And of course, your girl went ahead and primed those eyelids off camera using the CoverGirl Undercover Concealer in the shade T1500. And I did set it with some Pop Beauty Setting 101 powder. And of course, all the products that I use on the base of my face will be in the description box down below along with discount codes. So you guys can get some percentages off your guys' purchases, okay? But I went ahead and started doing the eye makeup. So I'm honestly just dipping into my Wet n Wild. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not Wet n Wild. Elf Cosmetics um, Bright and Colorful Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm literally taking this beautiful baby blue um, shade. And I'm definitely using that as my first transition color. I wanted to build up that color first before we dip into our first crease shade. Which is basically... I'm not even gonna lie y'all I'm dipping into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil eyeshadow palette right but I'm just honestly dipping into three of those dark blue shades if you have the palette at home then you know what three dark blue shades I'm talking about but I'm literally just mixing all three of those together and just taking my wet n wild blending brush and I'm literally just blending that within the crease on top of adding some turquoise blue because I didn't want it to be pure dark blue um, getting to navy blue I wanted it to be a mixture of both so I'm mixing those two colors and just blending that out in the crease and I smoked it all the way towards my eyelid as y'all can see I think I think that's pretty good so now basically I'm taking a um, small precise eyeshadow brush and this is like my go-to brush when it comes to defining my crease so basically I'm taking that brush and I'm dipping it into some black now once again this is probably like the same step routine that I did for my realistic cherry eye makeup you're not dipping into the black too too much you really, really want to go with a very light hand because you just want to darken the blue a little bit and also make sure that your crease is defined but you don't want to go too heavy on the black because you're going to end up creating a pure black smoky eye and that's not what we're going for we just want the crease to be defined well enough so you want to do that and also dip into the blue again as well back and forth motion until you feel like it's you know perfect but to me right here it's it's definitely perfect and as y'all can see your girl is taking a small precise flat eyeshadow brush and I'm dipping into that same concealer um, which is the CoverGirl undercover concealer in the shade T1500 and I'm basically just starting to create my half cut crease and I'm just dragging it from the inner corner um, and bringing it about halfway towards um, the eyelid getting a little bit almost towards the outer V but just not too too far but just right there and I'm also tapping um, the concealer down with my pinky to kind of get a little bit tacky um, and I'm also going back in with that blending uh, brush and I'm just kind of carving out not carving out but blending out the edges of my half cut crease so it won't look too harsh of course of course and I'm also taking another small precise eye shadow brush and I dipped into my translucent shade within my pop beauty setting 101 palette I wouldn't prefer to use that shade if you have a pure white eyeshadow then I would use that instead but that's about as close as a pure white that I have right now so that's what I used and I basically just packed it all onto, our, all onto my eyelid and then now I'm dipping back into that blue shade and a little bit of that black and we're just kind of blending out those edges and kind of smoking it out just a little bit more closer towards um, the middle of a half cut crease just to kind of give it that smoke out effect but still make it look cute and then, of course, I'm coating my lashes with some mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. Of course, I love this mascara. It is really, really good, you guys. Definitely recommend to get it if you haven't got it yet. Okay. If Asha Curry didn't tell you to get it when she was promoting it, you definitely need to get it now because it is definitely worth your money. Okay. It is amazing. Y'all see them lashes? Look at them lashes. Look at them. Look at them. Okay, and of course your girl went ahead and applied some falsies off camera. And she did the inner corner highlight and the brow bone highlight off camera as well. Just to speed up time. And basically we're just smoking out the bottom lash line. This is nothing new. I'm basically taking those three 
Dark blue shades within the Beach Cosmetics take me back to Brazil eyeshadow palette. On top of that turquoise shade and the black shadow and just smoking it out the bottom lash line. I went ahead and added some blush off camera. Um, just a really nice light hand of blush, nothing too heavy. I'll put, do that later on within the tutorial. Um, and of course, I went ahead and just bronzed up the face. And of course, I'm highlighting um, my nose with that pearless shade from the Versatile Cheek Palette. Um, full Spectrum by CoverGirl, of course. You already know what it is. And now we're actually getting into the other main focus of this tutorial, which is the wave. So I'm taking my black eyeliner pencil and I'm basically just sketching out how far and how close I want these waves to be towards my nose. And I'm honestly just dragging it towards the sides of my mouth. Now, I did start sketching out where I personally wanted my waves. Now I'm going to say this here. You do not have to do this. You honestly can just sketch out how far you want it to be and then just easily go in with some paint. You don't have to sketch it because once you go over it with some paint, you're going to basically cover up your sketch your sketch of where you wanted your waves to be anyways. So you can easily go back over it with a black eyeliner pencil or you can just go in with the eyeshadow or the face paint, whatever you're using, and just create your waves with that you know doing like a nice light handed sketch and then going in heavy with it with the product you know what I mean so this honestly didn't make any sense but at the time I was you know just trying to figure things out so basically as y'all seeing your girl's taking that white grease face paint I mixed it with some actual acrylic paint and some of that um true blend matte made CoverGirl foundation in the shade L10 and I'm basically just applying that with a foundation application brush and I'm just dragging it as much as I can and then I also went with a white grease face Halloween paint and I went in with a dark blue and I kind of added that on top just to kind of somewhat create some waves within the face that was definitely an, an, another unnecessary step as well but i did it anyway so once again you don't even have to do that either but you definitely 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 need to do this take some of your airspun cotty translucent powder or any of your translucent powder whatever you use and set that face paint honey no matter what make sure you set your face paint okay so that's what i did and i also went ahead and did an extra step and just dusted it off with my uh face powder brush now we are actually getting into building up that color again so basically now what i'm doing is, is i'm taking those three dark blue shades that we use for the eye makeup and i'm basically just creating the shadows within the waves you can take it as wide as you want as small as you want this is all up to you i'm just kind of going with my own flow you know what i mean i'm i'm, re I'm referencing the inspiration for it but at the same time i'm going with what i want to do and how i want to do it but right now we're basically just dipping into those dark blue shades and just going in and then we also are, are dipping into the turquoise and a little bit of light blue to kind of you know add that touch on it so you can definitely see the highlighting and in the shading and the contrast within the dark navy blue to the turquoise light blue you see what i'm saying and i also dipped into some black to add on top of that navy blue so that way it can really get defined within the color and it looks really really cool while i'm doing it okay now i did do a few of this off camera as y'all seen i'm taking that wet and wild fantasy makers face paint palette and i'm taking it it's oh crap i forgot what's the name of that palette but i'll have it in the description box down below but i'm basically just taking that white shade and i'm taking a paintbrush and honestly you guys i'm just going in and creating waves waves honestly within ocean waves basically it's just a bunch of swerves and dashes swerves and dashes and a little bit of details within lines and a little bit of just kind of like lightly tapping it to kind of give it that effect it's really hard to explain explain but within with what you guys are seeing i hope you guys can understand how that worked you know what i mean and it was just one of the things where once again i was going with the flow trying to figure out what i personally wanted to do um, and now i'm going back in with that white face paint and i'm basically just creating some strokes within these waves just to really kind of give it that effect of the movement within ocean waves because i honestly my waves ended up turning out to look like a really big storm was coming so 
I honestly wanted to give that effect within it and this was my first time doing waves like trying to do realistic ocean waves so honestly I was just trying my best to create that movement of how waves are within the ocean and I think I did a pretty you know good damn job so to speak and I'm also giving some um, waves that are kind of moving in the same motion of everything with giving it that hump you know that little hump that little swirl that little swoosh you know what I mean? And then, of course, I'm dipping back into those dark blue eyeshadows and the light blue turquoise eyeshadows. And I'm basically just highlighting and shading in certain parts um, from the shadowing to highlighting, um, even going up at the top and kind of highlighting some more within the face as well to kind of separate from the waves and then, you know, adding a little bit more detail extra to it. You can do this if you want to. I just felt like it was definitely a, a good extra step to take within doing this makeup look and then of course I'm personally doing a technique that I actually found within her tutorial and she basically took her spoolie dipped it into some white face paint and she just started adding that on top and just kind of lightly tapping it within the waves to kind of help it give that a uh, bushed up rough effect I don't know how to explain it but it just it always looks like that in paintings and um in photographs kind of too so that's the same effect that she did and that's the same technique that I personally wanted to do as well and then of course I went back in with um, some more acrylic paint but this time I'm using the top of my liquid eyeliner and of course I brushed it off first wiped off all the excess um, liquid eyeliner and then I dipped it into my white acrylic paint and I just went in and added some dot t details at the top as y'all can see to kind of give it that realistic effect within my waves and then I also added some more strokes added some more dashes added some more extra extra details okay you feel me and then of course I went back in with that eyeshadow again just to kind of add some more details add some more shadowing add some more highlighting even tapped a little bit on top of the waves to kind of make it a little bit more light blue instead of just all like you know pure white and everything kind of faded some of the lines that I felt like I you know did a little too much on all that other good stuff and then I also went ahead and added some more blush I used the same small precise brush that I used for my uh, realistic cherry makeup look and I just went in y'all because I felt like the blush was kind of fading away so I added some more extra to my cheeks to give it some more color but other than that as y'all can see I just set my face with the elf cosmetics makeup and setting spray just a little bit and I'm fanning the face away you guys and that's pretty much it. okay you guys and this is the finished look Am I giving you ocean wave vibes? I jump on your bitch like water. I splash on your bitch with the water. I feel like I feel like I tried my best. This whole little mask idea I had going on, just scratch that, okay? It's it's literally just like hers with then going across the face. But as y'all can see, I did add that effect to it, regardless of the fact of whether y'all can even really see it. Um but yeah, I think I did a pretty good job, honestly. I didn't think it was going to take as short of a time as it did um, because I guess I'm just working on like details within just one color instead of like multiple colors. But I really do like how this came about. Um, I can say the little difference between mine is that mine is a more turquoise mixed with dark blue. Hers is more of a pure vibrant light blue and a dark blue period mine is more navy blue um and turquoise mixed together but at the end of the day honey it is what it is and i still love this look um i as y'all can see i did add some on my chest i had to redo this because i did it one way didn't like it i thought it was too big and so luckily i have enough time and I ended up redoing it and this is how it turned out and I really do like this um, and as y'all can see I do got my glam eye makeup going on so and then I added some extra details within like little little watermarks you know extraness going on <laughs> Just like I said in the actual tutorial, I did go ham on the blush only because I felt like throughout the process of me doing this, it was kind of fading a little bit because I had translucent powder baking under my under eyes. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to just use the same brush I used for my realistic cherry makeup look um, because I used that to kind of mix within like red. So I just added that on top and I feel like it just kind of helped, you know, bring my cheeks within some type of color. Um... But yeah, I really am proud of myself. I was scared as F getting into this. I was nervous. 
Um, as I told y'all my intro, but you know what? I came in with some confidence. I believed in myself and look what the f happened. We got waves. We got ocean waves, y'all. Ocean waves. But if you guys personally like this makeup look, why don't you guys give this video a big old thumbs up and then comment down below any other makeup look suggestions that you guys would like for me to do here onto my channel. It's been a minute since I've done that. Um, <laughs> and then why don't you guys also go ahead and um, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to your girl's channel. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so you guys be notified every time I upload videos here like this. Makeup looks like this, honey, onto my channel. Um, and don't forget to follow your girl on all of her social medias, which is her Instagram and her Twitter. You already know what the fuck is up. Um, and yeah, I'm very proud of myself. I hope you guys are proud of me too. Um, if you don't mind shouting this out to Miss M the Miss amazing a melanin and chocolate natural hair stunning makeup artist um I, once again i don't want to get her name wrong but please tag this show her um this tutorial show her this look that i created she was definitely my inspiration true inspiration and i wouldn't have done this if it wasn't for her and me thinking about doing ocean makeup looks so please show this to her i really would appreciate that some white um translucent shadow within my um eyelids because i noticed it was kind of fading throughout the process of me doing this so yes i did reapply that that's about the most touch up i think i probably have done after all this <laughs> yeah you guys that's pretty much all i have to say um i'm just happy that we got this done before sunset i'm about to go take these pictures i'm about to you know look cute and stunt for snap real quick <laughs> um and yeah like i said i hope you guys like this look i hope you guys truly honestly enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye I know you think about me in the shower Born up in your browser Fantasize about the pussy power Think about me with your hand on your trousers I'm sweet, then I'm sour I'm Big Boss Bowser I know you salivating over me, sir Nipples through the t-shirt Told your mommy that you're bringing home a keeper Knees are